YouTube, what's really good? My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, your coach of the New York Metagross. Welcome back to week two of the NPA. This is going to be our battle versus Invivicolor, coach of the South Texas Sableye. Link to his YouTube is going to be in the description. Go check him out. He is an amazing, amazing content creator who has an amazing, amazing intro that I just totally, horribly ripped off. Anyway, as I said, I am the coach of your New York Metagross. We are here for our week two battle. Now, I am post coming this because the original version of this uh, battle uh, had horrible commentary. Like, very, very bad commentary. So I'd like to fix that. As you can see on the screen, the six mods that he brought, uh, as if you watch the team builder, you'll know that I expected Gun Tank over Sizing Toad. Other than that, we got the other five mods correct. You can see our team above me as well. We are bringing the Greninja, the Dragonite. Let me go over the sets, actually. If you do not know what we are bringing for set, sets wise, the team builder went up yesterday where I go over in depth. Where is it? There it is. My hair is just like. Alright, you know what? There you go. There you go. Hair like that. That's, that's my hair this video. So we went over every single set in detail of what we are bringing. But as a quick recap, we are bringing our Spike's Life Orb Greninja. We are bringing a Dragon Dance ICMZ Dragonite. We are bringing. No, you know what? Go back. We are bringing our, I believe, support Necrozma. I cannot remember if we brought setup. I do not think we brought setup. I have not seen this team in like a week and a half, guys. I've already recorded my week three battle. I'm just really behind. I just did not want to actually touch the video. I was so like distraught with how I commentated the video. I just did not want to go n near it. I knew it was bad when I was talking. Moving on, we have our Expert Belt, Rapid Spinning, Cryogonal, that way. We have our Recycle 3 Tax Snorlax, and we have our Fast Bulky Venusaur for the top of Bulu and stuff. So, hopefully I'll remember this entire battle because I know it was semi-long. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and just jump right into the battle. Looking at his team, I felt like... I did not want to lead off bad against the Victini or the Mega Manectric, both of which were very potential leads. So I believe I lead off with Snorlax. So let's just jump in and we lead off with Snorlax. I got it right. He does lead off with Manectric. He is going to go for Voltage, obviously. Nothing I can do. In case he does stay in in Thunderbolt, I do want to hit him hard. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake and he is going to bring in his top of Bulu. And that is going to do nothing to his top of Bulu. So immediately I am going to go switch out into my Necrozma, not wanting to immediately take a Zen Headbutt from my Venusaur. So I'm going to go into my Necrozma, I'm going to go for Psychic as he goes for the Nature's Madness, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to get over some Grassy Terrain Recovery, which is great. And then here I'm going to go into the Venusaur as he goes for the Substitute again, predicting me, so that's really good. I forget to switch this to normal. So I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb, breaking this up, and he goes for Nature's Madness, for revealing that he did not, in fact, have the Zen Headbutt, which is beautiful, which means I can switch in on this very reliably. I'm going to get some recovery, and I'm going to fire off another Sludge Bomb, predict and he goes into Victini. I go for Leap Seed instead, predicting the Victini or the Glass Core to come in, getting me some nice recovery, and if he does, in fact, go for anything other than U-Turn, I will get some recovery with my Snorlax. However, he's going to go for U-Turn. Fabulous. And guess what comes back in? Top of Wulu. So, prepare for this cycle to go on forever and ever and ever. I'm gonna go out into my Venusaur, he's gonna go for Nature's Madness, and I believe I'm just gonna go for another Leech Seed, predicting him to switch once again into the Victini. He is gonna go into his Victini, I am gonna go for the Sludge Bomb instead, gonna get a crit, which is not end up gonna, gonna end up mattering that much. And now I can go back into my Storlax, as he re reveals a searing shot, at this point, I need to tell him about Blue Flare if he does not already know him. So he's definitely afraid of that 6.5% chance to miss. He's going to go for searing shot. I'm going to go for pursuit as he switches out. I'm going to get a chip damage off, and we are going to see the Culverberry that I did predict. He's going to go to his Gliscor. I can Ice Punch this. However, I do not want to get my Berry knocked off. So I'm going to go out into my Crawligonal. He's going to go into top of Wulu, and I'm like, perfect. This is a free-as-hell freeze-dry. He's going to go into the Mega Manectric as I click freeze-dry. And now, here's the thing. 
I can get some damage off on this thing. However, grassy terrain is up. Hidden power ground won't be doing too much. So that is also the fact that I don't want my cryogonal being too weak right now. If he gets a Brox, and he goes for if he goes for over here right now, I end up 100% living it unless he's modest. And actually, I think I'd live it if he's, no matter what, he won't kill me. But I will be in range of Brox. I do not want that. I want my cryogonal healthy. I want to be able to come in because it destroys him. It destroys him so bad. Expert Bell Ice Ground Coverage just rips him, especially with Victini Weakened. So, my game plan is go for Recover on a predicted Overheat or Volt Switch, end up at a good amount of HP no matter what at the end of it, and be able to attack the next turn. Because minus if he goes for Overheat and I go for Recover, and then he goes for a minus 2 Volt Switch, I won't be in range of rocks, and I'll be able to come in versus almost every single thing on his team, bar the Mega Manectric and the Halucha, and recover up later. So... Really want to explain why I went for a recover here because I feel like there's gonna be some questioning. So I'm gonna go for the recover here. He goes for flamethrower, gets a crit, gets the burn, and I'm just staring at my screen like this is over. At this point, I was just like, "There's, there's nothing. No, I needed that damage off of my neck trick." But I picked myself up. I said, "There's no, no. I'm going to win this battle under no circumstance where I lose this battle." So, it's a roll to knock me out with the um, next flamethrower due to the crit and the burn, which is really unfortunate. However, he gets it. So, that sucks. Should he have not crit me or not burned me, either way, I would have potentially... Well, if he didn't burn me, I would have potentially been able to live the next flamethrower. However, if he didn't crit me, I would have 100%. I'm okay with the burn. Not okay with the crit. The crit really, really puts me in a bad position because I could have freeze-dried and weakened this a little bit more, which you'll see would come into play later. So anyway, I lose my cry going to like really early, which is unfortunate. However, I can go out into my Snorlax and I can click the, I believe I click Ice Punch? Do I click Ice Punch? Click Ice Punch. He goes into a Seismitoad to get a bit of damage off on that. I'm like, okay. So that's kind of a, maybe, look, might be a bulky Seismitoad. I see no item. I'm like, okay. I can stay in here, get a little bit more damage off. And I do with the Earthquake, knocking him pretty down low, which is going to help me with my Dragonite to be potentially into the late game. I'm going to go into my my um, Venusaur on a predicted attack, and I see his life for it. I'm like, great, he's not healing up. He cannot heal up. This is perfect. Dragonite's going to destroy now. He's going to go into his Victini as I have to go for Synthesis. I, synthesis. I cannot afford to not go for it. I need to keep this thing healthy because it can potentially just stall out the rest of his team. I'm going to go into Pillow Pet here. He's going to go for Searing Shot. And he gets the burn, which sucks, sucks. Again, another burn, which sucks. It's 30%, so it's kind of like Skull. But actually, it's not the worst. Had he had any move to really hit me that wasn't Searing Shot, he could have potentially knocked me out. Had he not gotten the burn, had he not, not knocked me down on 25%, and had I not gotten my Figgy Berry. Perfect. Kind of sucks I won't be getting as much damage off anymore. However... It's fine. It's not like to still switch in on Bikini. That I think will be as much of a threat. Yeah! So he's going to double out into his Bikini as I'm going to go out into my Venusaur, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He can U-turn all he wants. I'm going to go right back into my Snorlax. My game plan is win with one of my two uh, offensive mods in the back. Going to go back out to Snorlax. I still live whatever he wants to go for. He goes for U-turn. I'm like, great. After Rocks, Searing Shot will put me in range of thing again. He goes into Rosal Lucha, reveals the Grassy Seed, another move, set I got predicted perfectly right. I predicted 5 out of 6 sets correctly to the letter, and he goes for sub. And I kind of forgot a head cow for my head um, at this point in the battle. My thought was that plus 2 Acrobatics does not 2 a KO me. I was wrong, and my th it was in fact that plus 4 Acrobatics does not have a chance, or does not kill me. So, I'm going to heal up here. He's going to go for Sword Dance, and I'm like, whatever. I can just finish this thing off with Psychic. I'm wrong. I can break the sub with Psychic. As you're going to see, he's going to go for Acrobatics. And I'm going to get some Rocky Helmet Chip damage off on him, which is perfect. And I'm going to go for Psychic. And I'm like, oh, God. But it's fine. He goes for Acrobatics again. I get some more Rocky Helmet Chip damage. And I'm like, okay. If I get three hits with Greninja, if he's no HP, I knock him out. Which is perfect. However, he has a little bit of HP. And he's going to just barely live the water shuriken. And he's going to knock me out with high jump kick. Which is really unfortunate. 
Because now I have to go do Dragonite. And I have to take rock damage that I did not want to take. I have to lose my Greninja, which I did not want to lose. Because that could have won me late game, too. And I have to extreme speed this thing. I still have the Ice TMZ, however. I can still pull, pull through. My plan is set up with Dragonite. Break his team down. If I get rid of Manectric and Victini, Venusaur wins. So, knowing that, I'm going to go out into my Pillow Pet. Of course, Rocks with Searing Shot will put me in range of Figgy Berry. He goes to Glaciate. However, that's enough. And now I believe I'm going to click the Pursuit here. No, I'm going to click the Ice Punch here, I believe. And do absolutely nothing to this Gliscor. Great. I can go into Venusaur, however. I still beat this thing 1v1 my Venusaur. I am faster than it. Because he's not running faster than what I'm running. He does go for Taunt here. That's fine. I can still Giga Drain stall until the Taunt runs out. Or Sludge Bomb predicting the top bull to come out. Or Victini. Which is fine. He goes for Earthquake. It does a decent amount. Giga Drain will still help me keep healthy enough until the Taunt wears off. We're fine. Go for Giga Drain. Does that much. I get that much back. And he goes for Earthquake. And I'm like, this is fine. I'm pretty sure Venusaur stalls out anything that's not Manectric or Victini. Here, I'm going to go for the Leech Seed. Get some health back. He's going to go for Taunt. He finds out that I'm faster than him. Bless. I get a lot of HP back. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of HP back. Here, I go for Giga Drain, even though I know Victini's coming in. Or I go for Leech Seed. Do I go for Leech Seed? I go for Sludge Bomb. Ooh, I'm a legend. Victini's still here, and I have to go out into my Snorlax. Once again, he's going to go for the Searing Shot. And I believe this is where I make a misplay. Is this where I don't click Recycle? I should have clicked Recycle here. However, I didn't. I expected him to switch out. And Pursuit doesn't kill, which is fabulous. That burn really starting to suck now. Can I get the roll? Of course, I can't get the roll. I have to go back out into my Dragonite. I have to kill this thing with Extreme Speed. I still win this battle, however. I can still win this battle. All I have to do... I was actually caught up in the emotions, and I didn't think I won this battle. However, I can still win this battle. All I had to do is get rid of an extra. If he is modest, I like I think he is. Plus one, Dragonite outspeeds him and can hit him with an Earthquake and knock him out. Then, he can't beat Venusaur. I'm going to go for Dragon Dance. It's my play. Thunderbolt doesn't kill me. He's not HP Ice. He gets the Paralysis. And that's our fate sealed right there. There's nothing can be done. I'm going to Extreme Speed. Two Extreme Speeds at minus one would not have knocked him out. Thunderbolt's going to kill me. And then Venusaur comes in. And Venusaur is going to die to the Planthor. And we are going to go 0-2. I believe this is the first time I've ever started 0-2 in a league in my life. 26 leagues never started 0-2. I've ended up with two losses, obviously. I don't think I've ever started 0-2. It's a, it's a feeling. It's not a good feeling. I was in a very bad mood for days. However, that's Pokemon. That's life. And that's week two of the NPA Miners. We come out with a 4-0 loss. We were 0-2, minus 7. And next week, of all people... I gotta remember, I'm in a big boy league. Every week, it's just gonna be, oh no, not this person. We are going against It Sucks coach of the Milwaukee Bewares. So yeah. I already know the results of that battle. And you will see it very soon because I believe I'm not going to wait too much longer to upload this. I do have the bye week. After week three, there is a bye week, by the way, where TwitchCon is going on. So after that, during that week, there will not be any battles. I will be prepping for week four. And then we'll see you for week four after that. But first, week three will be up hopefully sometime through the week. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.